Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. But first, it's been one day since Congress failed to meet a deadline set by President Trump to come up with a law to address DACA. Now, your side's Kevin Bouton joins us live from downtown. And Kevin, there are protesters there and they're sending a message in a unique way, right? Yeah, Guy and Sel, I want to take a look, want you to take a look at this. This is the bridge over Alameda that leads to the courthouse complex. There is a dance party right now. Why dancing? The supporters and organizers of this rally say that their folks in their camps have been depressed and sad as they have waited for a solution to come on DACA. And then yesterday when that came and went without a solution, they said they just needed to dance to lighten their mood. I spoke with an 18-year-old DACA recipient just a couple of minutes ago who says she has lived in America since she was two years old, and this is what she wants Congress to know, that she is not a bargaining chip, and she, her family, and others like them are waiting for a permanent solution. Now, the deadline yesterday was mostly symbolic after a federal judge in California issued an injunction that requires the government to continue to allow existing DACA recipients to renew their status. These people say they are waiting for a solution as well. We have reached out to Martha McSally and Raul Grijalva's office about this. We are still waiting for them to get back to us. We're live downtown tonight. Kevin Bout, KGUN 9, on your side.